I think we should, we have to understand that there is a lot of anger in Italy, for instance, for the simple fact that in the beginning of March, when they uh, were the first to get hit hard by the pandemic, Paris and Berlin rushed to implement uh, an export ban on PPE. I mean, that's exactly what you should stay clear of if you want, if you don't want to prove that this union isn't helping when it's most needed. A friend in need is a friend indeed. And a friend who proclaims to be a friend but doesn't even pretend to be willing to help, well, what does that say about the value of the union? And I, I know that there has been better steps and, and uh, the agreement between Macron and Merkel about the recovery fund was a huge step forward, but the psychological disaster has not been overcome. And when you look at the external side, this is the first big crisis in many decades in which the United States didn't even pretend they had an interest in playing a leading role. They withdraw from responsibility. On the other hand, it's the first crisis also in which China is at the center, not only where it erupted, but also in, in trying to opportunistically take advantage of this crisis to um, uh, satisfy its hegemonic and bullying appetites. So uh, indeed for the European Union, um, it takes more than the normal measure of willingness to compromise to really keep the whole bandwagon together.